let us look at proposition number 11 of book 8 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, between two square numbers, there is one mean proportional number. And the square has to the square, the duplicate ratio of that which the side has to the side. So, here the proposition is saying that if we have two square numbers A and B, then there is one mean proportional number and A is to B is equal to C square is to D square. Okay, let's see how we can prove this. A and B are square numbers. Let's say C is a side of A and B is a side of so, which basically means that A is equal to C times C and B is equal to D times D. Let E is equal to C times D. Okay. Based on this, C measures A, C times. B measures E, C times. So, since they measure the same number of times, we can say C is to D is equal to A is to E. C measures E, C measures E, D times, B measures B, D times. So, we can write it in proportionality form. So, C is to D is equal to E is to D. Now, here also C is to B is equal to A is to E and C is to D equal to E is to B. So, we can say A is to E is equal to E is to D. And here if you notice, E is the mean proportional. So, between A and B, there is one mean proportional, E. Since we have A is to E equal to E is to B, you notice that A, E, B are in proportion. And since they are in proportion, we can say that A is to B is equal to a square is to E square. That means the ratio of A to B is equal to the duplicate ratio of the A and E. But we know that A is to E is equal to C is to D. So, which means we can say A is to B is equal to the duplicate ratio of the sides. Now, basically, duplicate ratio means you have 2 by 3. Duplicate ratio of 2 by 3 is nothing but squaring both the numbers. So, 4 by 9. So, that is proposition number 11 of book 8 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.